Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another ramble session on a Monday. I hope y'all are doing well. Today we're going to put this page together and maybe some other things. I do have an unboxing that I just have not been able to get around to, um, but I might just go ahead and do it today. So I hope everyone's doing well and you had a great week and a wonderful weekend. Um, I prepped some of this page yesterday. I was able... And I'll show you in a second, but oh my goodness, I was so happy. I was able to come in here yesterday for most of the day and get all caught up on my journaling. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been a long while since that's happened. And I've told you before that this month I want to make sure that, um, I get at least one journal complete this year. Okay. <laughs> That's the goal. Just get one journal complete. Um, and I think it's going to be this one. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, there's a lot of glue on that. Okay. Um, so yeah, it felt really good to come in here. Um, I am feeling better. The title of this uh, video, I'm pretty sure, is going to be One Step Forward, Two Steps Back. <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot make this stuff up. I swear to you, I cannot make it up. Okay, so as most of you know, like last week, um, I didn't get the ramble session out on Monday because I was sick in bed with 103 fever. And then... I still have the sniffles and all that kind of jazz, right? Still have a little bit of a cough. Um, and I was so hoping that my husband wouldn't get it, right? So guess what? Yep, you guessed it. You guessed it. I'm not going to put that down all the way because I think I wanted this underneath of it. Hmm. Well, that was bad on my part. I should have looked. Anyway, um... Yeah, I was so hoping my husband wouldn't get it, right? So um, I don't know even know when I put the video out last week. I, oh, maybe I just wanted this here. Maybe, well, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so we'll put that down. Um, anyhow, I think last week, when did I, I think I filmed the video on like Wednesday, I think. And was it Wednesday? Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it's, I'm sure it's in here somewhere when, when I filmed it. But anywho, yes. So long story short, my husband got what I had, right? And so on the third day of his fever, I decided because he, like when he gets a when he gets a cold or flu or whatever, it goes directly to his chest, you know? So I wanted to kind of stop that before anything horrible started. Right. And he had had a fever for three days. So I was like, all right, we got to take you to urgent care. So we go to urgent care. <laughs> what does he have? Yep. The big C he's got COVID. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, all these years we've like, I, these things are so hard to, I don't know how to get this detached. I'm sure that there's an easier way, but good grief. Painful, let me tell you, painful. So anyhow, yeah, so I take him to urgent care and... He comes out and I'm like, what's the verdict? You know, he says, I've got COVID. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So that only tells me that I must have had, have whatever COVID as well. So, uh, so there's that. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is just Never a dull moment around here, you know, never a dull moment. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the good news, well, I mean, whatever he, he got some medicine and stuff like that and he's on the mend. 
the doctor seemed to think that he would be fine for his procedure coming up this week. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. I get, I don't, I don't even know what the protocols are for COVID anymore. I have no clue. Um, obviously, you know, I mean, our lives are pretty much spent in quarantine anyway. Um, you know, it's not like we go out all the time or anything like that. We, we do what's necessary, you know, um, like going to the grocery store or picking up meds or, uh, going to doctor's appointments. That's our life, you know? So anyway, yeah, so he's on the mend. Um, we are supposed to be going to his, uh, whatchamacallit, his procedure this week. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so guys, I cannot tell you how happy this makes me because like I said yesterday, this is my journal for the month of October. No, I have, I still have not decorated the front cover. Don't know if I will. Not really sure. Don't really care. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to do anything with this. I'm not sure. I am just very happy that... Every single page in here is filled. Now, this time I've done, um, well, I'm all caught up on the decorating the pages, which as you just saw is very um, light. You know what I mean? Like I'm not coloring pages. I'm not spending an hour on it. I'm, you know, literally that took me five minutes, right? Um, these are just memes that I find online. Um and I print them out on my printer. This is about my sweet daughter. Two memes I sent to her. I told you guys before, I send stuff to my kids all the time. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, good grief, another whatever. I'm probably like clogging up their phone or taking up their space or whatever. I don't know. I guess if it bothers them, they would tell me. Um, but yeah, whenever I see these things, you know, about kids and how much you love them and you know, you just want to send a little, hey, I'm thinking about you, you know, I always send them, send them these types of things. So this is for Saturday, which is, which was yesterday. And then this is today's, right? So I need, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry for the reach. I need two things in here. I need a telephone, which I really don't want a red one. So I'll pick this one because I spoke to my sweet aunt this morning and we'll need one of these because I'm filming currently. Where'd that yellow one go? There it is. So we'll use those. Yep, I'm filming my ramble session today. So these two things I know are going to go on here now. The In the past month, like, see, here's the urgent care one. <laughs> Uh, I just cut letters out of colored paper and, um, yeah, I just, you know, just very simple decorating magazine pictures, memes I find online and then just simple writing. And this is really the first time, um, I have journaled this way, honestly, like normally my pages are, you know, bursting with, with stuff. I, I like tucks, tags and pockets, all of that. Um, you know, coloring the background with daubers and all that kind of stuff. But, whoa, by the way, we did get our gutter fixed. <laughs> yeah, they came out this week and moved it over to the left um, so that it's not directly over the window casing. Anywho, yeah, our weather's been changing. Um, but I don't have, you know, it's not like we go anywhere or do anything spectacular. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, with the vid hanging out at our house, we, um, you know, we didn't go look at like, uh, open houses or anything like that. So yeah. So we've just been hanging out at home, watching a lot of TV and not doing much of anything except for resting. So like I said, yesterday while my husband was resting, I came in here and let me think I did that, that I did like almost all yeah, I think I started, yeah, I started here and I did all these pages from the 13th until, you know, I did this page well, finished it today. But 
Yeah, so I did all these pages yesterday. <laughs> now, I had come in here previously and had decorated all the pages with just the basic, you know, and then I came back in and I'm, I feel pretty good. Like I'm using up a lot of my washi tape, um, stickers. Um, yeah, I've been, I usually don't use a whole lot of washi, but I've been using a lot of washi. I didn't use any on this page, but this page, you know, so that's felt good. And I feel really good about at least getting the stuff down on paper. You know, I haven't really done anything else. I would love to come in here and do like, you know, magazine harvesting or, um, you know, even like a glue book session or something. But I just, yeah, after I'm in here for a little bit, I I just need to rest and relax. So that's where the journaling uh, what's going on on the journaling front. Yeah, it's um, been completely successful. I'm perfectly happy with the way it's coming out. And quite frankly, I'm just glad things are on paper. So uh, yeah. And then let's see. Yeah, we still have all of this to go. So we'll see if I can keep it up. We'll see. Um, yeah. And, and I usually like like I said, I mean, I came in here yesterday and I did a whole slew of pages, right? All of these pages. And that's how it's been going. You know, I'm not coming in here every single day. I'm just coming in here when I feel like it. And I have, you know, my notes in my little weekly agenda. So I know what happened on what day and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's been good. It's been good. And I'm just glad that I'm getting everything down on paper. So let's switch gears and we're just going to go ahead and do the unboxing for the Your Creative Studio because um, I got this a couple weeks ago and, you know, if you've been watching my videos or whatever, uh, life has been crazy. You know, I've been sick, my husband's sick, blah, blah, blah. So this is the May uh, 2023 box and I do believe it's tropical is what it is they always there's a chameleon on here and they always give you a little thank you card and it kind of yeah a flamingo and some palm fronds and stuff it always gives you kind of like a little hint about what's going to be in the box so let us get this out if i can i'm excited to see what's in here because why i live in a tropical area so that ought to be fun. Whoops, some stuff has fallen out. Uh, Your Creative Studio is a subscription box. Whoops, let's bring this down over here. A subscription box um, company that sells vintage themed items, okay? And everything, the one thing I tell you guys all the time, the one thing that I love about it is that you can use every single thing in this box okay you can even use the box itself but you know you can use the the thank you card as a little journaling spot just the possibilities are endless right and they give you a lot of little things right so let's see what's in here okay we're just gonna go ahead with this um a lot of things come from asia I need to open this and the the packaging is super cool on a lot of the stuff so either they have like these little match boxes that's what this appears to be like a little match box of something I, do, I don't know looks like labels um so let Let's see, is it a matchbox? Is it not a matchbox? I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, it is a matchbox. Okay, so that's cool, huh? All right, so in here, it appears to be stickers. Okay, little cute little stickers. So let, oops, let us see. Oh, there's one that says APR, which would be April, in my opinion. And there are two of each, it appears. So number, oh, that's a cute one with the little bird. Cute little, okay, so these are little labels. That's a lot of fun. And they're very cute. And they're stickers. So very cute. Um, we're just going to put those 
back in here. I'm not going to waste time to put them back in there. Okay, but cute little box, right? Okay, let's see what this is. Plant specimens. I like these things too. I save these little baggies too because they do work very well for like Happy Mail. Okay, slide this little belly band off. Oh, okay, these are papers. They're beautiful. Um, and they're just papers of botanical papers that would look wonderful on a collage. Look how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. And it appears as though they're all different. I'm not sure if the, if the design uh, repeats or not, but beautiful botanical pages. Maybe they do repeat. I'm not sure. Doesn't appear so. Ooh, look at that one with the pump fronds. That's beautiful. So there's that. Let's see. Can we get this on here? Can we get this back on here? Yes, we can. Okay. So lovely. These appear to be tickets from the picture in the back. Oh, look at that. A little squished because they are obviously taller than the width of the box. Um, but that's interesting. I don't know what that is. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, it broke off of there. Okay, no problem. But that's like a little belly band holding them all in. And then these are the t little tickets. So you can either use them as a strip or you can cut them. And they're all different kinds. It looks like there are two designs of each. So thin little, that's very cute, very pretty, very pretty. And then, like I said, you can always use everything. Like this would make a fantastic, sorry if there's a glare, a fantastic tag, right? You could cover the back or whatever, or do your writing right on top of this, although it is very glossy. So you'd have to do something with that, but it's a very cute, right? So we're just going to put that over there for now. And a, there's a load of them. Okay. There's a load of them. That's what I, that's what I mean when I say that this company gives you a lot of little things, you know, it, and it's all curated to one theme in this case, uh, tropical. So these are washi stickers of flamingos. So, so super cute. It looks like there might be some other little things in here. And these are very tiny, tiny. I don't want to even take them out. Okay. On the back, it shows you. So you have some florals, some, um, you know, tropical florals, but they're very small. And then some really cute flamingos. So cute. Let's just scooch this over here. Okay. Now we have this. And these, again, you know, cute little belly band that you can use in collage or what, what have you. This, huh, they're like, okay, let me see if I can get the second one out. I don't know. They are not all the same. It appears as though one, two, three, there are four of each one. And these are, you know, they're perforated, so they are like postage stamps. So aren't those pretty? I don't believe that they are stickers, though, although I'm not sure. Oh, they are. Oh, look at that. That's super cool. That is really very pretty. Very pretty and very delicate. I love those. Okay. Let's see. Here are some... Oh, this is a toucan, black and white. They always send you some of these vellum stickers too, black and white vellum stickers. And these are little toucans on here. So very cute. Very cute. Okay, here are paper ephemera. And these are like um, 
what do you call them? Like chipboard pieces, big and small. So I'll stick the smaller ones back in there, but look how pretty that is, huh? These would go great on a summer journal, a tropical journal. That's the other thing too. Like if you had, you know, a, the substrate for a journal, you know, um, you could actually build an entire journal just out of using what's in these boxes. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see it. You can probably see it that way. So those are very pretty, big and small. Like I said, here's some like really small ones. There's some chameleons. So cute. Really pretty. Everything is very good quality too, from what I can tell. Very nice quality. Um, and super fun, super fun. Yeah, and you can use every bit of it, you know, including all the packaging, which I love. Okay, this is some washi tape. So let's see what's in here. Mm, it's not very, um, like, colorful, I should say. I don't know. It's very muted. That's what I should say. And it has tropical leaves and such on it plants botanicals tropical botanicals so there's that um that's one thing that they do pretty much in every box is washi tape and cling stamps which is nice and their cling stamps are very intricate oh look at that okay so there's a beautiful leaf one of those, I don't know what they call them. I have the name in my head, but I can't think of it. Um, I can like see the spelling. I don't know. It's kind of like a philodendron with the Swiss cheese, you know, elephant ear kind of thing. I, that's like one of my favorite plants. And then a beautiful flamingo. And they are very, very intricate. You know, now I will tell you with their stamps, you do need to prime them, which means stamp them out a few times before you go to make your final stamp. Yeah, they need to be primed. Um, oh, more than... Here's some more rubber stamps. So how cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. A pineapple. So adorable. And a toucan. Very cute. Very cute. So there are those. Super cute. I don't know what this is. But look at that packaging. Oh my goodness. That's what I mean, folks. That's what I mean. You can use every single bit of this packaging. So this is like an envelope thing. So cute. I don't know what this is inside. We're going to find out together. But look, that's plastic there. This would make such a cute little pocket thing in a journal or a tip-in or just something to put your ephemera in. So cute. And I don't know what these are. Um, let's see if they're stickers. Yep. Okay. They appear to be washi stickers. Okay. So just strips, it appears. Strips of washi stickers, and there are two of each. Oh, isn't that one cute? Stamps. So, yep, two of each design. All different botanicals. Um, all different sizes, all different widths. Some thick, some thin. There are some more stamps, pretty. Um... That's beautiful. I love red so much. So pretty. These would be great. And um, oh, look at that Australia. Oh, pretty, pretty. Um, these would be great for collage. Great for collage. And again, with the packaging, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, well I'll fix that later. 
Okay, this I'm not going to take out. This, it says masking tape on here, but it's not. Um, this is tissue paper. So very pretty, pretty design. Some tissue paper. And then we have the paper pack, a paper pack. And this, I've shown you this before as well in, in other um, boxes that I've received. It has sticker paper, vellum paper, art paper, and pattern paper. And so there are four designs of each. See, so, um, yeah, there's one design of Flamingo, one design with a chameleon, and this is just the regular paper. One design with a botanical. I think there are just four designs. I guess we're going to find out. Nope, there are six designs. Forgive me? How is that possible? Huh. Anyway, there's that design. Here's one with a toucan. And, yep, so six designs. And here's another floral. So I don't know if you can see that. Kind of, yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then, then you have the vellum pieces of the same uh, designs, right? So six six sticker paper six vellum okay yeah so six designs of the four different four types of paper yeah 24 sheets so the vellum and then we have the sticker paper of the same you know design motif and then we have or this is the sticker paper maybe is this a sticker paper? I'm confused. Yeah, this is sticker paper. Okay. Maybe they gave me two of the sticker paper instead. Because this feels like sticker paper to me. Let's see if we can... It is. Hmm, I thought it was. Yeah, this is sticker paper too. So maybe they just gave me two things of sticker paper instead of the um, decorative paper. There's pattern paper, art paper, vellum paper, sticker paper. So I have the sticker paper here. I have more sticker paper here. Vellum paper. This I would assume is pattern paper. So I'm missing the art paper, which is no big deal, but... Um, yeah, so this is a lot of fun to just take this whole thing off and stick it on or tear it and stick it on. You know, it's, you can do so many different things with it. I love the vellum. That's always fun. And then here's just the regular, like really thin scrapbook paper, which works out really well for, um, what's it called for collaging, right? So all different kinds of papers, some beautiful, beautiful rubber stamps that are very, very intricate. Um, I love these right here, these botanical postage stamps. How fun are those? Some plant specimens, lots of different things, a little cute little matchbox of um, labels and some little vellum stickers that are so pretty. So there you have it. There is, oh yeah, and I forgot about these, these little tickets, so cute so pretty they could you could even make them like you know fold them cut it of course and make a little tab you can make a little index tab on the side of your page or whatever so very cute and lots and lots of those right lots different botanicals is what they are some thinner some thicker very cute though and that there you have it that was the May 2023 box. So the link will be down below if you're interested. And yeah. Um, and then back to the journal. Um, maybe on this, on today's page, I'll use some of these things here to decorate the page to denote that I did the unboxing for your creative studio. They have so many fun items in their boxes. I hope you give them a a look see um and yeah otherwise i'm gonna go relax with my husband and yeah
we're on the mend, on the mend here, finally, on the mend. Um, I think he's gone 24 hours without a fever, so that's good. That's good news. And he's a little bit more perky than he has been the last few days. So yeah, <laughs> getting over the vid here and staying indoors and away from everybody else. And our gutter was fixed, which is good news. And yeah, other than that, we're just going to keep on keeping on. And hopefully we can take a couple more steps forward without taking any backwards. That would be really, really great. So I'm super, super happy with myself that I have all of my journaling done up to this point, up to today. And yeah, I just can't tell you how excited I am about that. So I'm going to keep trying to continue in this mode where I continue to keep up with my journaling um, and then I'll slowly add in something more at a later time but right now this is all I can handle <laughs> so I hope you all have a great great rest of your week um, thank you so much for joining me and spending your time with me I know how precious time is and I'm super excited and glad and thankful and grateful that you choose to spend your time with me have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.